Click the torso and select object mode from the pop-up menu. Select the torso. Select create UVs planar mapping options. The planar mapping options window appears. Select edit, reset settings. Set project from to Z axis. Click project. Maya creates a new UV mapping for the torso. If you look at the UV texture editor, you can see the new UVs look like a flattened version of the front of the chest. At first glance, this may seem perfect, but there is a major problem here that you need to change the UV texture editor view to shaded mode to see. Select window. UV texture editor. The UV texture editor appears. In the UV texture editor, click the shade UVs icon or select image shade UVs. In shaded UV mode, overlapping faces appear red while non overlapping faces appear blue. Notice that all the faces for the torso are red. This is because the faces of the front and back of the torso are overlapping. If you try to apply a texture to the UV mesh like this, you would get the exact same image on the front and the back of the torso. To fix this, we need to unwarp the texture so that front and back no longer overlap. Click the torso and select Assign New Material from the pop-up menu. The Assign New Material window appears. Select Lambert. Open the Attribute Editor. In the Lambert tab, set the Lambert file to Checker Pattern. Click the box next to Color. The Create Render Node window appears. Select Checker. Press 6 to enter Smooth Shade Mode. The torso is covered in a checker pattern. In the Panel menu, select Panels, Perspective, Persp. From the front view, the checker pattern looks roughly even with very little distortion. This indicates that the spread of UVs is fairly even and even spread of UVs is important to avoid texture warping when you apply your texture. In some cases you may need to experiment with different planar mappings to give you the best base to start with. However, the planar projection isn't perfect. If you look at the sides of the torso from the armpits to the waist, you can see some warping. This is the ideal place to cut the UV edges for unwarping. Click the vest and select edge from the pop-up menu. Select all the edges in a line that runs from under the arm, down the side of soldier's body to the bottom of the vest. You can do this by double clicking edges along this path until they are all selected. Select the corresponding edge on the other side. An edge loop on both sides should be selected now. In the UV texture editor, select polygons cut UV edges. Now you are ready to unfold the mesh. Click the torso and select UV. Select one UV at the inside tip of each vest strap along the unfold line. In the UV texture editor, select polygons, unfold, option. The unfold UVs option window appears. Select Edit, Reset Settings. 
set pin UVs to pin selected UVs. A pinned UV does not move when a UV mesh is unfolded. In general, you want at least one pinned UV when unfolding because it gives the unfold process a point of reference. This is similar to placing a pin in a piece of fabric so that it does not unfurl out of control as you unfold it. Click apply and close. Maya lays the UV mesh out across the UV space. Parts of it may fall outside the 0 to 1 texture space, but that's fine for now. More importantly, notice that the pattern is such more even across the mesh now. Unfortunately, while you've minimized the distortion, you also create a visible seam where you cut the UV edges. Unfortunately, this is unavoidable. In general, it is best to put your seams in the least visible places. In this case, the seams will be obscured by the arms most of the time and therefore won't be as noticeable. Click the torso and select object mode from the pop-up menu. Select the torso in the perspective view. Open the attribute editor and navigate to the checker pattern tab. Click the box next to the color. In the place 2D texture tab, set repeat UV to 10 and 10. The number of squares on the torso increases. Click the torso in the perspective view and select UV from the pop-up menu. Drag select all the UVs on the torso. In the UV texture editor, use the scale tool and move tool to transform the mesh so that it fits inside the upper right square of the UV texture editor. Click the torso in perspective view and select object mode. Select the torso. In the UV Texture Editor, select Polygons, UV Snapshot. The UV Snapshot Options window appears. Click the Browse button. The File Browser appears. Navigate to your specific folder and enter the name Tarso underscore UVs. Click Save. Set Image Format to Maya IFF. Click OK. Maya creates a file named tarso underscore uvs dot iff in your specific folder. If you open this file, you can see the exported uv mesh. You can now open this file using an external image editor such as Photoshop and paint your texture using the mesh as a guide.